In this video we will be taking a look at the aliens called Pleiadians who originate from the Pleiades star cluster. They have always fascinated me due to the fact they are a humanoid race who visits Earth often and whom we share a common ancestry. The Pleiades system The Pleiades star cluster is made up of seven reasonably small stars in the in the constellation of Taurus the Bull. In terms of distance it is around 500 light years from Earth. The seven stars are as follows. Teijita, Maya, Colia, Atlas, Merapi, Electra, Alcoin. It's impossible to provide an explanation on these aliens called Pleiadians without introducing you to another race of aliens known as the Lyra. The Lyrans. The Lyrans originate from the planet Lyra and are thought to be our common ancestors. The planet of Lyra suffered greatly from constant wars causing many of its more peaceful inhabitants to leave for good. They traveled around the stars for many centuries before eventually coming across the seven cluster stars in Pleiades. They liked the look of this area so they settled on a planet named Era near the star Teijita. Era was what they had been searching for and in 228,000 BC they officially started up their new civilization there. The Pleiadians the Pleiadians are thought to be a very intelligent and ancient form on humanoid. They have apparently been following Earth's history and our evolution from the beginning. They claim to know the exact age of our planet Earth 626 billion years old. The Pleiadians did not discover Earth until 225,000 BC when they spotted our Sun system. They arranged a scouting mission and landed on Earth to find out more about the planet. They found three separate and underdeveloped civilizations on Earth. The largest civilization seemed to have a paler skin color than the rest and were direct descendants of the Lyran alien race. The Lyrans had discovered Earth long before the Pleiadians but had been very unkind to Earth's natives. This led to them being forced to stay on Earth due to the karma they received through this evil treatment to the darker-skinned natives. The Pleiadians realized they had a lot to offer the three civilizations on Earth and decided to stay and lend a helping hand with society. The Incarnational Cycle So the aliens called Pleiadians entered into an incarnational cycle with humans on Earth. The locations they were allowed to inhabit were Bali Hawaii Samoa India the Earth's civilizations went through many changes between 196,000 BC and 10 AD. Many civilizations were built and many civilizations fell. It seemed no matter what the Pleiadians tried war would always rear its ugly head. The Pleiadians tried their hardest to change humanity right up until 10 AD. They centered in on the Lemuria, Maya, Inca, and a civilization at Machu Picchu as their best hope. They were constantly trying to guide us to a more positive and natural spiritual path by the looks of things, they failed. In 10 AD there was only one Pleiadian leader left on Earth named Pledges and he decided they should leave the planet for good. He felt the human race should now be allowed to find its own way and he had also heard news that his home planet had ended its own wars. They decided to leave one of their spiritual leaders behind on Earth just to make sure we stayed on the correct path. His name was Jaimanuel. Jaimanuel later became known to Jesus by his followers and was a highly evolved and spiritual being. His father was Gabriel of the Pleiades system and his mother was Mary from the Lyran race. Earth was left to evolve its own natural way without the aliens called Pleiadians till our present time. Will they ever return to lead our planet to bigger and better things?